What's goody? Welcome to Pride Talk. Some of you may have seen this floating on the internet, and believe it or not, I thought of hip hop. It made me angry, sad, but I think we should talk about this. Here is what sales psychologists have to say about selling to the Negro. The secret of selling to the Negro is expressed in one word. That word is recognition. Now, there's nothing unusual about that. People want to be recognized. They need recognition. That's basic in all of us. But perhaps because he's had so little of it, the Negro needs even more. The Negro needs even more. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. These tactics have been used against us for a long time. They're taking advantage of our past and current oppression to make money. The same tactics are used when signing a new artist. Put them in an expensive rental car. Give them that big chain. Make them feel important. And you can make them do whatever sells. Feed that insecurity and you got them. He needs to feel important and appreciated. This need is a very real and important one. It shows up even in many of the Negro's shopping habits. You see, for a long time, the Negro has been sold a lot of shoddy, second-class merchandise. So now he asks for name brands in order to make sure he gets his money's worth. Buying by brand, that's the first important Negro buying habit. First Negro buying habit. Why do you think appearance and fashion is so important in the hip-hop industry? They almost go hand in hand. I didn't say anything's wrong with being fresh. I'm talking about the heart and I'm talking about the motive. Half of the things you wear is because you saw your favorite lean sipping rapper wear it first. When someone popular wears it, you feel as though you share that recognition. You share that glory. Some of you may not even prefer wearing Jordans or buying Ciroc, but you buy it anyway. You know why? It's not about your preference. It's about everyone else's. The Negro buys good quality merchandise. Symbols of quality and prestige are very important to the Negro customer. This woman, for example, is buying fine crystal wear. But she is also buying the admiration and approval of her friends and relatives. Listen to her thoughts. My, isn't it beautiful? I can hardly wait to show it to Sally and Joan. It's a well-known fact that many Negro customers are influenced by the opinions of others. What their friends may think of a certain item often decides whether or not the sale is made. It's this pride we have in wanting to show we are not less than so-and-so, proving we can keep up with the Joneses. The problem is you buy by the brand and not by your budget. Most Negroes buy by brand. They ask for products by name. What are your thoughts on the mentality of trying to one-up one another? I feel like it's, it's kind of prevalent in the hip-hop culture and um, unfortunately sometimes even in our culture. We've been conditioned to think like that. Our money, um, clothing, light skin, dark skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, whose head is, is, it looks good, whose head is kinky. Uh -huh. um, and now it's a, it's a divide among amongst as far as the hip-hop culture amongst the older generation and the newer generation which has always existed but mm -hmm. it's even more so now and you know what i mean like yeah i wouldn't be surprised if it's a whole short tall war that we saw <laughs> in the black community like any type of thing that they can use to divide people like they definitely push that agenda you think because it's 2017 these tactics are thrown out the window no, <laughs> no sir. You think we're still not affected by feeling less than? Are you not gonna buy your newborn a pair of small Jordans? <laughs> don't lie. What's the point of the video? Awareness, because you don't know. Most of you are sheep, because most of you like following what everyone else is doing. When you share videos like this, you're not a sheep, you're a lion. My name is Brandon, but friends call me Beto. Join the pride.